Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Google Photos tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download all of your photos and videos from Google Photos. So recently, Google announced that they will be charging for storing of your photos and videos going forward. And a lot of people have decided that they want to download all of their pictures and videos from Google because of this. Now, luckily, Google has created a tool called Takeout that allows us to easily download all of the content we have in Google Photos for free. And the steps in this tutorial can be taken on a computer, your phone, anything like that. You'll just need to be able to log into your Google account. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is simply navigate to takeout.google.com and check the description. I'll have all the links I discuss as well as a detailed write-up in case you get lost. You might have to log into your Google account once you get here, but after that, you should be on this screen. So first thing we want to do is deselect all. So this tool allows you to download everything from your Google account, but that's a lot of data. So we want to kind of minimize that down just to Google Photos. So the first thing we need to do under select data to include is simply select deselect all, then simply scroll down until you get to Google Photos. So right here, you should see it. Go ahead and select the checkbox next to Google Photos. And then if you want to, you can change the options in here. So if you don't want to download all of your photos, you just want to select specific albums, you can do that in here by making sure that you only have the albums you want selected. But by default, if you check this, it'll download everything from Google Photos. So once we check the box next to Google Photos, we can scroll down all the way to the bottom where you see next step. Go ahead and select next step. And then it's going to ask us how we want to have this delivered. By default, it will send you a link in your email associated with your Google account. And then right here, we can select the file type and size. So I recommend just keeping this default at zip. Then after that, we can select the size of the files that we will be downloading. If you have 100 gigabytes in your Google Photos and you select two gigabytes right here, then you'll have 50 files to download. So just keep that in mind when you select this file size right here. I'm just gonna do two gigs. Once we've completed selecting our options for step two, go down and select create export. So as you see here, it shows the export process and it shows that the export will start on June 7th. So unfortunately there is a pretty big delay for us to actually be able to download everything. But on June 7th, we should receive our email that contains a link where we can open up our export. So on June 7th, I did receive an email saying that the archive had started. So it was gonna start processing that archive and I could check the status by just clicking the link in the email. Then just a couple minutes later, after receiving that first email, I received the second email letting me know that the archive had been created and I could begin downloading my files by just selecting download your files right here. So when you click that link, it'll bring you to a page called manage your exports, where then you can see all the different exports here and it'll split up the downloads into the different files that you have. So if you have a ton of photos and videos in your Google Photos, you'll probably have multiple files to download from Google, but you can do that all from this page. So I'll select download, save it to my computer, then when I open up that file, there'll be a folder called takeout where I can go in there and then I can go into Google Photos and I can see the different albums that I had in my Google Photos. So if I open one up, I can see the video there and I can see all the photos here, such as some stuff I use for my YouTube videos. So now I've successfully downloaded all the videos and photos from my Google Photos account. All right, so that's how you download all of your pictures and videos from Google Photos. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Google or Google Photos tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.